the opposite of the superstitious mind is not the scientific mind. The opposite of the superstitious mind is the spiritual mind. Unfortunately, most people do not understand that. Even the framers of our constitution had no understanding of this thing. So, in the constitution, when they have spoken against superstition, for example, in the directive principles of state policy, they have said, we do not want superstition. So, we want to cultivate a scientific temper in India's population. Now, this is a lot of nonsense. Because scientific temper will not eradicate superstition. They should have written spiritual temper. Only a spiritual temper can rid you of superstition. But then the framers of our constitution were just too secular to include the word spirituality in constitution. Hmm? They thought spirituality is synonymous with communalism, with partisan attitude or bigotry. So, they stayed clear of spirituality. They did not include spirituality even in the school and college curricula after independence. Hmm? This is a great superstition to think that superstition can be taken care of by science or by rationality. You know, we have we have these organizations, groups in the country who, who fight against superstition and they call themselves rationalists or free thinkers. They are superstitious in their own way. Their central superstition is that rationality can fight superstition. You see, you have to understand the superstitious entity. The ego is the first superstition. Why? Because the ego thinks it is, whereas it is not. When you are not and you think you are, that is the fundamental superstition. No? Superstition is to believe in something that does not exist. The first thing that does not exist is the ego itself. But it has a great belief in its own existence. So, the ego is bound to be superstitious because it itself is the first superstition. But we do not want to get into these things. We become afraid. The constitution was being framed at the time when religious hatred and passion and tempers and violence in the country were very, very high. There was a lot of bloodshed. So, these educated people became very afraid of religion. They said, if we talk of religion, then again there will be bloodshed. They did not understand the, the difference between religion and spirituality. They did not know the difference between a belief system and inquiry. What you call as religion is just an organized belief system, believe in this, believe in that. Whereas, spirituality is just an invitation to inquiry. There is hardly anything common between frozen belief and youthful inquiry. Hmm? Getting it? Just do not think that by being well educated or well read or thoughtful, you have liberated yourself of superstition. Most people live in all kinds of superstition because they have no self-knowledge and I said the ego is the first superstition. As long as the false self remains, the mother superstition remains. But you know, it, it boosts the ego to call that illiterate tribal superstitious. Why? Because he believes in gods and goddesses and magical powers of that great old tree. 
So you say, oh, he is so superstitious. He believes that the trees can speak. Hmm? He believes that that particular rock can do some magic. But look at your own life. You chase a man or a woman and you think that that rock can do some magic for you. How are you not superstitious? Thinking that a rock can weave magic is superstition. But thinking that a new job can do magic for you is not superstition. The latter is even more vicious superstition because it is difficult to call it out and remove it. You know, something is outside of you, you can easily wipe it away. When the thing is inside of you, it requires courage to pluck it out. <laughs>